What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to do a cable. How to fix Rainbow Six Siege is having an issue with you are having the trouble that uh, it is not launching whenever you are trying to launch it is stuck on mini loading screen and how the game fixes that. So make sure you get into a step. Whenever you are launching the game you are end up in having this issue. So the first and foremost step what we need to do is we just need to Close the Ubisoft Connect or close Game EXE or Game Related EXE in the Task Manager. Then try running the game and you have to pick it for multiple times. So first go here in the start, right click and directly navigate to the Task Manager. Now from here we have to wait for a little bit of time, expand this. Now from here if you have anything related to the game is running, right click on it and go for end the task. Similarly for Ubisoft Connect. Anything is relating uh, is running related to the game. That is either Ubisoft Connect or if the uh, Bingo Six Siege is running, select it and go for end the task. And you have to check. This is the first and foremost step. Next step is for a book. We need to verify the game file. So just go to the file over here. Right click on the game, go to the properties, go to installer file, and just verify the game file. And you have to check that might work. That is very important. If that is not working, we have to move to the next file. That is all about we need to copy the game exe from game installation folder and we have to paste it to this particular data over here. So let me go over here in the game installation folder that is right click and go to manage and go to browse locker file. So from here you have to scroll down and navigate to the rainbow six siege application that or the dot exe file. So if you scroll down, we'll be able to find the rainbow six siege over here so you can copy this particular one. Now go to this PC, go to local list C, go to users your user folder would do app data go to local now from here scroll down a bit of time then you have to find get it to the folder named be soft you have to get into this particular folder and inside this you'll be having a separate folder that is inside the Ubisoft like local so app data local then you'll be having a folder for Ubisoft but for me I'm having the folder named Ubisoft game launcher so instead of Ubisoft you'll be having another folder named Ubisoft and if you get into that folder just paste this game which we copied the dot .exe should be pasted here then you have to check that might work make sure we need to install the latest version of Ubisoft connect so before that we just need to go over here search for the settings click on the settings now from here navigate to apps now go to installer apps now go over here at the top and here we have to search for ubisoft now click on this one then go to uninstall after it is successfully uninstalled you just need to close this and open it with big crown and you have to go over here now search for ubisoft now we have to download the ubisoft which should be downloading the latest version of ubisoft so if we go over here we'll be able to find the Ubisoft, which will be the latest and uh, the easiest folder, or it will be up to date. So just download this Ubisoft from here. Once you download this Ubisoft from here, you have to use it in the key. That is what we have to try. Make sure we need to log out from the Ubisoft Connect and we have to exit and the Ubisoft Connect. So both should be done. So I will demonstrate to you that. So just go over here. Search for the Ubisoft Connect. You have to once find it run it as administrator, go for yes. Now what we need to do is just go over here, open it Ubisoft, and you have to run it run the Ubisoft as the administrator. Go for yes. Now once the Ubisoft is successfully launching, you have to make sure that you have signed in. For me, I think I have already signed off from the Ubisoft. So the first one, what you need to do is if you're already signed up, we have to log out from the Ubisoft. Then you have to exit the Ubisoft Connect. So make sure that you need to log out. Then you have to give the credentials and log in back. Then you have to check that might work. Next step, we need to turn on or off the VPN if you are connected to any kind of VPN. So just go over here, search for the settings. You go to the settings. Now from your navigator to the network and internet, go to VPN and make sure that you have to disconnect the VPN. Once the VPN is disconnected, you have to close this and you have to check. Make sure we need to disable the Steam Power Lay. Turn off overlay in Discord, settings, etc. and Nvidia app and also close the overlay application. So in the game, just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Make sure that you have to turn this off. Then you have to check with the game. Next step is all about after that is not working. We just need to make sure we have to close all the overlay applications. We just go here, open the task manager. 
Now from here, if you find anything related to the overclocking applications like Eriva, Duvalar, Emerse, Afterburn, Discord, everything should be and uh, you have to select this and go for end the task or you can remove it or you can completely uninstall it then you have to check next step is all about after trying with this we need to give the game pass since this try installing the game on xbox app or install the game from ubisoft connect so if you are having the ubisoft connect you can instead of downloading from the steam try it from the ubisoft connect or if you're using the game pass in this, try downloading the game from the Xbox. So just open your Xbox account. Now just go ahead in the Xbox account with signing in. Now from here you have to search for the game. So instead of, search, instead of downloading it from the you have to instead of download downloading it from the Steam, you can try downloading it from here. You can just go back. Over here you can see the will be game with game pass. Just go over here to this particular game. Now from here you can play the game with the game pass and you have to check. Next step is all about we have to go over here, uninstall and reinstall the battle line. So to uninstall the battle line, just go over here. I click and go to the uh, browse local files. Now from here go to the battle line. Now from here we have to uninstall the battle line. So I click and go to when as administrated and go for yes. Now, as you can see, the battle is un uninstalled. And if you want to reinstall, just go okay, click on with as administrator and go for yes. Now we have to check. Next up is all about we need to launch the game from the game installation folder. Try running the game as an administrator. So just go over here once again. Right click and go to manage and go to browse local file. Now from here you have to scroll down and find the rainbow six. Right click and go to show more options. Go to the properties, go to compatibility, put a check on when this program in the compatibility mode, when the game as an administrator, and also you have to put a check on disable full screen optimization. Go for apply and go for OK, and you have to check. Next step is all about we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA and the. Now we are just in the bow over here, get into the NVIDIA if you're on the NVIDIA. Just go over here and find every details over here it is written. You have to find everything like the product type. Then you have to find all the details like the GeoForce, NVIDIA, everything should be done. Including the Windows 11. Then go for find. And once you go for the find, you have to go over here. Just wait for a bit of time. Now from here you have to go over here. Make sure that you have to download this. Download and install and you have to check the latest version of graphics card should be updated. And if you go over here in the graphics card, just go over here, find everything, go to 5000 series. And if you find everything, just go over here, submit for the NVIDIA users. If you're on the Windows 11, download this. And if you're on the Windows 10, download this. So these are the steps. And I hope this quick video is helpful. This is for if you're having the trouble with the stuck on mini unit screen. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. That's it. Bye bye.